Mr. Hills Bookstrom and Dr. Janati Balakrishnan Bookstrom, colleagues, research delegates, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to everyone and thank you for joining us in the first international conference on emerging trends in science and social science. I bid a very warm welcome to the eminent speakers and delegates who have come from all over the world to join us in Malaysia. We are indeed proud to have you here with us. We have about 75 number of participants from different countries such as Malaysia, Sweden, Iraq, Pakistan, Bangladesh and India making our conference a truly international one. It is red letter day in the history of VH and Sandhi Kumaranda College for having the divine blessings and the privilege of organizing this international conference on emerging trends in science and social science in the beautifully equipped Malaysia. At this juncture, I would like to thank the management team and also the chief patron and secretary, Mr. T.J. Jayakumar of VH and Sandhi Kumaranadar College for being a great pillar of support in organizing such a wonderful conference. This conference creates an amalgamated global platform where enthusiastic researchers, policy makers, stakeholders and intellectual scholars have gathered together for a common purpose of identifying the challenges and issues in science and social sciences to achieve a sustainable progress and to sort out and solve the challenging issues by the presenters combined research findings. It is an opportunity for us to discuss the key points of the researchers, problems faced by the academicians in science and social sciences and industrialists across the globe and to strategize how we should inculcate responsible conduct in research. I optimistically feel that the first international conference on the emerging trends in science and social science 2019 is to going to provide you an unique experience with the speeches from renowned speakers, best presentations, round table discussions, networking opportunities and many more. At the outset, I would like to thank the Institute of Integrative and Regenerative Medicine, Kuala Lumpur, especially the pioneers behind SIRM, Mr. Niels Bokstrom and Dr. Janidhi Balakrishnan for offering their consent to collaborate and host this highly regarded event. The Institute of Integrative and Regenerative Medicine has been focusing their entire career to unravel the mysteries behind health span and ways to achieve optimum health in concurrence with one's environment. It is my deemed privilege to welcome the pioneers of this institute and I take great pride to inform you that the guest speaker, Mr. Niels Bokstrom, inaugural trust is going to be the most awaited and a yeah, cherished moment. On behalf of the delegates gathered here, I also extend my heartfelt welcome to Dr. Janadi Balakrishnan, who has offered to deliver the validity address. The theme of the conference is to focus on various aspects regarding mathematical sciences, computer science and information technology, physical science, histochemistry, nanotechnology, environmental protection, human intelligence, behavioral science, journalism, emerging trends in literature, health issues and consumer awareness. Research acts as a tool for building knowledge and for facilitating learning. It acts as an aid to business and a way to prove to support troops. It also finds way to cause and size the opportunities, seize the opportunities. It raises the level of thought, explores the reasons, intuition and the experience of the unknown areas of our universe. The research has the primary function formulating new questions and production of new knowledge. It helps create the future or to mark the progress of all areas of knowledge as well as the dissemination and sharing these advances with the company. It is both a way to train people to discover the world and understanding and a source of technological and social innovations. The research therefore requires communication and dissemination of results. With many research activities now taking on a global dimension, it is imperative to discuss positive approaches towards tackling the challenges and the issues 
and setting the standards for innovations. This forum is going to be a significant event to create an opportunity to bring together researchers from academia, industry, corporate, scientists, scholars, students, natural activities and environmental organizations and to encourage collaborations through research, research talks and presentations. This will further put forward many thought-provoking strategies sharing the common agenda using classical and other advanced approaches that have been made available for mankind during 21st century. The main objective of the conference is to orient the delegates from different countries about the importance and integration of science and social science discipline. In this global scenario, it is appropriate for choosing such a research-oriented and innovative theme for this international conference and I wholeheartedly thank the Organizing Secretary, Dr. P. Magalingam, Professor, Department of Botany, for setting the platform to deliberate the expanded role for scholars of science and social science in tackling societal and cultural problems through academic research. He has propelled us to move beyond a creation that has the power to turn one's dreams, desires, and vision into reality. On behalf of all convened here, I extend a heart, hearty welcome to Dr. P. Magalingam. My deep sense of thanks and gratitude to the Government of Malaysia and Government of India for granting us permission to organize the first international conference on emerging trends in science and social science. Sincerely, I would like to thank the Seri Pacific Hotel for rendering the support and cooperation in providing conference venue and accommodation. I would also like to place a record of thanks to the concerned authorities for granting permission to the research delegates to attend and share their thoughts in the international conference. I request the researchers to meet their ethical obligation. Researchers can help themselves make ethical issues salient by reminding themselves of the basic under, underpinnings of research and professional ethics. Researchers should follow honesty, objectivity, openness, respect for intellectual property, confidentiality, publication, social responsibility, non-discrimination, competence, and illegality. Researchers should also need to meet the ethical obligations once the research is published. Research ethics should be able to help researchers cripple with the ethic dilemmas they are likely to encounter by introducing them to import concepts, tools, principles, and methods that can be useful in revolving these dilemmas. I would also like to offer my amiable welcome to the guest speakers who is going to address on various topics. Professor Jodi from Bangalore on aromatherapy, Dr. Anuradha, Professor Nirmala Kaleshwar Women, Koyamthur on the topic Yoga for Health, Dr. Ramasupu, Professor Department of Biology, Gandhigram Rural Institute, Gandhigram, India, who is likely to speak on the topic Biodiversity. The guest speakers have come from various states of India and have offered to address the key challenges in the present scenario. In addition, I would also like to acknowledge and thank the organizing committee for the strenuous effort in planning and coordinating the event. Indeed, they have played a pivotal role and has been instrumental in putting together the conference program. VHNSM and SIRM is proud to host this event by bringing together renowned experts in the respective fields to address the vital issue of research in science and social science encompassing all disciplines that has become of increasing importance today. I take this opportunity to felicitate the research delegates and scholars from various countries and I extend a friendly welcome to offer their deliberations. I pray that God, Lord Almighty, may shower his blessings and lead us from darkness to light. I wish everyone a successful and fruitful conference. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The journey of a lifetime starts with the turning of a page. It's time to get into the journey of the knowledge. The proceedings of the conference is released by our chief guest, Dr. Nils Brockstrom, and it's received by our beloved principal, Dr. P. Sundarabhani. <laughs>
Success is not measured by what a man accomplishes, but by the opposition he has encountered and the courage with which he has maintained the struggle against overwhelming odds. Today is a very great day because we have invited a great man who has been responsibilities and is dedicating his life for the service of humanity and the nation. He is none other than Mr. Nils Bockstrom. He believes that health is a basic human right and is everyone's personal responsibility. Dr. Martin Luther King has rightly said that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in the moments of comfort and confidence, but where he stands at the time of challenges and controversy. We know health is a serious concern now. Our speaker takes the responsibility of taking care of the health by advocating and empowering people through their Institute of Regenerative Medicines. I call upon Dr. Muthu, Muthu Lakshmi, Assistant Professor of Commerce, VHSN College, Viridhanagar, to address the Chief Guest. We are very glad to have a wonderful Chief Guest amongst our midst, Dr. Nils Bockstrom, a pioneer Swedish Institute of Regenerative Medicine, Uppsala, Sweden. Dr. Nils Bockstrom is a Swedish biologist and a recruiter. He holds a master's degree in biology and mathematics, a practicing nutritionist qualified at Uppsala University, Sweden. He is the founder and CEO of SRIM, Swedish Institute of Regenerative Medicine, and ICPLT, Integrative Conferences PLT. He lectures internationally on nutrition and is a proponent of HIT, the High Intensity Training Program, mentored by Jubai. He is a frequent speaker at seminars and conferences focusing on innovative nutrition for optimum health. Nils Bockstrom manages patients with the cutting edge aspects of nutrition and high intensity training. With the evolving mindset, Nils Bockstrom seeks to raise public awareness on how to treat health issues with integrative participatory medicine. Welcome you sir. Our minds are open to know more about clinical insights in using ancient oils for metabolic management. Welcome you sir. so much for that introduction. It sounds great to listen to this one. Are you, uh, even I would like to meet this person. <laughs> yeah, um, I would like to thank uh, the, the, the College of uh, Sente Kumar Nadar. I think it's a fantastic initiative. I think um, uh, Sweden is not a big country, but we're famous for our innovations. One of the big things that we're doing in Sweden is to actually merge different types of science. So I think um, your college has done a fantastic job. I would like to thank the chief patron, uh, Mr. Jaya Kumar, uh, the chairperson, Captain Dr. Sundara, uh, the organizing secretary, Dr. Mahalinga, and uh, the collaborator, Dr. Gentry. Dr. Gentry happens to share my surname, and that is because she's married to me, and we are very happy <laughs> to be here. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you understand the significance of, of having these kind of forums. In Sweden we have, we have institutionalized these kind of uh, meetings because we know uh, true, true leaps of uh, technology and science is actually done in the, in the intersection between the different types of sciences. I don't know if you know about that in uh, emergency rooms you can actually mitigate post-traumatic stress disorder by giving the patients a, a computer game while they're waiting for the for treatment. This is also done and innovated in, in Sweden. They, they actually give them Tetris, if you know that one. Um, they give that to the tra tra traumatized patients and they will be helped and the, their recovery will be so much faster. Another area when you can see this kind of merge of, of uh, science is that when you look at uh, road planning, when you plan a road network for a new city, they often look at the biology, they look at the, the development of a leaf from a tree, and they mimic that kind of, of development. The nerves from the leaf is actually the best way to, to uh, construct a road network for any new city. So these kind of non-logical uh, connections um, is very important. And I think um, 
um, the organizing committee has done a fantastic job to put this together. And we are very proud to be a part of that. Um, with all that, I will just say Vanakam uh, to everyone. Uh, in Swedish, we call it Velkommen. I think the Vikings taught the, the Tamils very nicely. Vanakam, <laughs> Velkommen. Almost the same. Yeah. Well, with that, I, I wish you all the best. Um, and I hope for a few, uh, very fruitful uh, two days for this conference. Thank you. We thank Ashikas for delivering the session. And I want to say that as you, Means Boxstrom, have done so many things. So it's you, sir, not any other. To be an achiever, you have to think big, aim high. The dream of a college has been fulfilled by a Dr. P. Mehalingam, organizing secretary of this international conference. His strenuous efforts have been have to be appreciated at this juncture. Dr. P. Mehalingam, the organizing secretary, completed his PhD degree in botany from Madurai Kamarajar University in 2000. He has produced 25 MPhil and 9 PhD scholars. At present, four PhD scholars are pursuing their research under his guidance. He has published more than 65 research papers in reputed journals. He has participated and presented his research papers in international conferences held in the Netherlands, Malaysia, Thailand, China, and Laos. He understood uh, his post-doctoral uh, studies at the Department of Botany, BHSN College, Viridhanagar, during 2014 to 2016. He has been engaged uh, in the research on entobotany, pharmacognosy, pharmacology, and phytochemistry. Obviously, it's a proud moment uh, to welcome such a dynamic personality, Dr. P. Mehalingam, to propose the oath of thanks for the thankfulness is the beginning of a gratitude, and gratitude is a completion of thankfulness. Thank you, Manavina. Good morning, Manandal. Let us grateful to the people who make us happy. It is my great privilege to propose what are thanks. First, I extend my sincere thanks to our beloved principal, Captain Dr. Visundra Pandian, giving me a golden opportunity to organize such an international conference in Malaysia. Today is the most remarkable and important day in the history of me and our BHNSN College. With the support and cooperation of our college managing board and our cloud principal, we are organizing the wonderful conference in Malaysia in a fruitful manner. I once again place on record my sincere and heartfelt thanks to all those who have contributed in one way or in other to make this, con this conference happen in this mesmerizing Malaysia. This event is not a single day routine seminar, rather it has been organized with a vision to inspire and motivate researchers, academicians to achieve their full potential in the field of science, humanities, and the social science. My sincere and humble thanks to our managing board members, the chief patron and secretary of our college, Mr. T.J. Jayakumar, for being a great pillar of support in organizing the first international conference on emerging trends in science and social science. I express my heartfelt thanks to our beloved principal, Captain Dr. P. Sundar Bandian, for his enthusiastic support in all, in, in all our endeavors. I also thank 
sir, for welcoming and gathering, welcome gathering and delivering the uh, presidential address. I hope this long dream of organizing conference uh, abroad has come true now. I am indebted to thank the pioneers of the Institute of Integrated Regenerative Medicine, Kuala Lumpur, Ms. Mr. Nils Bokstam and my friend Dr. Janati Balakishnan for offering their consent to collaborate and host the highly regarded event in Malaysia. My association and experience of working with Janati Jan Jan Balakishnan Bokstam uh, date back to uh, third global summit on herbals and traditional medicine in Japan during 2017. I am glad that our, our collaboration uh, has paved way for this collaboration ICT, ICET SSS at Malaysia. I hope this team will work together for more research and conferences in future. My sincere thanks to the research delegates who have come from all the way to attend and share their thoughts in the international conference on emerging trends in science and social science. I would like to thank the guest speakers, Mr. Niels Fokstrom, uh, uh, Professor Jodi from Bangalore, Dr. Anuradha from Nirmala College, Coimbatore, my friend and collaborator, Dr. R. Ramasupu, Gandhi Ram University, India. I would like to thank all the organizing committee members for their tireless efforts in organizing this conference. I particularly extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Suresh and Professor Ramesh Kumar for their excellent support for bringing this proceeding of our international conference on emerging trends in science and social science in a success in a, in a in a fruitful form. My sincere thanks to participants and research scholars from all over India. We, my uh, wholehearted thanks to the government of India, government of Malaysia, for granting us permission in the successful conduct of first global summit on science and the social science. So thankful is the nature, uh, natural impulse to express our feeling. So I finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to one and all present here. We will meet you soon in another academic endeavor. Thank you for giving me the golden opportunity for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, what is unique about photograph is that they capture a moment that's gone forever, impossible to reproduce. Let us all now assemble to capture a glorious moment. Mm -hmm.